Hello students, welcome to Luminary Academy and today we are here to discuss some previous year question paper of class 10th mathematics which came in 2023. So today I will be doing the question based on surface area and volume, right? So I just came live to help you out because the boats are coming near. So I feel like uh, this questions will give you help in your coming exam, right? So let's go to the questions now. So in this, you can see that <clears throat> the questions are based on surface area and volume, right? So the first question, which is of class 10th, that is surface area and volume. In this, it is written that, let's take it a full screen. So it will be, yeah. So in this, you can see that <clears throat> this question was asked in 2023. Okay. That is previous year question. And it is very important for examination point of view. A room is in the form of cylinder surmounted by a hemispherical dome. Okay. So there's a room which is in the form of cylinder and there is a hemispherical dome so that is like this done the base radius of hemisphere so the base radius means this one the base radius of the hemisphere is one half of the height of the cylindrical part so if the height is h right if the height is h then radius will be 1 by 2 h right half of height is the radius basically they're trying to say that the hemisphere is one half means one by two of height of the cylindrical part. So one by two H, right? So we got the radius also. Now find the height, total height of the room. If it contains 1408 upon 21 meter cube of air. So the volume is given to you because it is in meter cube. So we can see that the volume is given to us, right? So in this case, what we generally do, we basically take the formulas of volume, right? So what we can do is uh, just one minute. Yeah. So here, <clears throat> if we see like volume of cylinder is, is pi r square h, right? And the total height is Sorry, volume of cylinder is pi r square h and the volume of this uh, what we called hemispherical is 2 by 3 pi r cube, right? And the volume is given to you that is V, right? So I'm using this one 1408 upon 21 that is equals to now see pi r and pi r is same because it is surmounted so radius is same so i'm taking common pi r square i'm taking common right pi r square is common so what is left h plus 2 by 3 r right because pi r is common so here it is left with h now pi r square is common so here the uh, r is left right because it's r cube so one r is left and h is there now here we will substitute the values so pi they are telling that take pi as 22 by 7 so it is 22 by 7 then radius now radius is half of h so 1 by 2 h square right and then what is the height height is h we are taking height as h plus 2 by 3 into now radius you know that it is already it is 1 by 2 h this one right so it is 1 by 2 h right so you can cancel this 2 and 2 this is cancelled so here it is 1408 it is continuing so 1408 upon 21 right now we'll do the calculation part so here it is 22 by 7 now 1 by 2 h square so 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 and h square is h square now here h plus h upon 3 because half is half cancel 
Now you can take the LCM by multiplying 3 here and upon 3. So you can multiply 3 so it will become 4H because 3H plus H. So it will become 4H upon 3. Right. This is solved. Now here it is 22 upon 7 into 1 by 4 into H square. Right. And this is 1408 same as it is done. Now we can cut the values if it is cutting. Right. So you can cut 2 times 2 and 2 times 11. Right. This is cut. Now 7 times 1 and 7 times 3. This you can cut directly. Okay. So 3 is there. Now this 3 and this 3 can also be cut. Right. So this is done. Now I'll send this 2 and I can cut this 2. 2 times 1 and 2 times 2. Right. So this will become the value will become 1408. So 1408 divided by 11 into 2 and that is equals to now h square and h will become h cube right so instead of cutting we'll try to simplify it okay so 2 times 1 and it is 2 7 times 14 0 4 right now 7 0 4 is divided by 11 so 11 6 or 66 this will become 4 so this 4 will come down and then 11 4 is 64 sorry 44 11 fours are 44 so this can be cut okay so we get the value after cutting 11 times 1 and 11 times 64 is 104 so 64 is equals to h cube so 64 cube root because this is 3 so we'll send it to other side so it will become cube root of h so 4 is equals to h right so actual height now they're trying that find the total height find the total height of the room the total height of the room is four centimeter sorry meter right and if they want to ask you radius so radius will become one by two of four that is two meter so radius is two and height is four meter so we are able to solve this question it is very simple i hope you are able to get this this is very important for mathematics especially those who are taking standard mathematics yes so now let's go to question number 29b part this is also a very important question so let's see how can we solve this an empty cone is of radius 3 centimeter and height 12 centimeter okay now the ice cream is filled in it so that the lower part of the cone which is one sixth of the volume of the cone is unfilled okay so one six is unfilled so the filled part is five by six which is very important to know how out of six part five part is filled in the cone so suppose if we say the cone part is filled up to this much only okay or we can just make it a uh, do one thing sorry okay so what we can do is it is as it is one by six fill so we can do one thing ice cream khate hai to niche tak ice cream pahunchti nahi thi okay this to pahunch jati hai but okay question ne sab bola hai so kehne ka matlab ye one six part hai itni hi full hui hai thodi si aur kar dete hain mai achhi lag rahi hai ye apne aap gaya ho raha pata nahi kyun but okay. so yahan tak ice cream full hai ye wala part empty hai so one sixth we can say that so yahan se yahan tak jo fill hai wo 5 by 6 part fill hai right ab is question ko shuru karte hain kyunki question samajhna bahut important hai beta agar question nahi samjhenge to aage kuch matlab nahi hai theek hai aur obviously agar wo ice cream fill karega to ye to part jo dome ka part hai ye to fill ho gayi to ye to pura aisa kaisa aayega theek hai to puri ice cream fill aise to aapko jo volume nikalna hai yahan pe likha find the volume of the ice cream so volume of ice cream ke andar aap kya kar sakte hain sabse pehle volume of hemisphere to pura aayega so volume of hemisphere kitna hota 2 by 3 pi r cube ye to aise kaise aayega plus 5 by 6 kyunki 1 by 6 to khali hai mujhe khali wala chahiye nahi mujhe jo fill karna hai wo chahiye to 5 by 6 of what of volume of cone volume of cone hota hai 1 by 3 pi r square h 
राइट ना हीयर रेडियस इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो मतलब इसकी रेडियस अगर थ्री सेंटीमीटर है यहाँ से यहाँ तक रेडियस अगर थ्री सेंटीमीटर है तो हेमोस्फेयर की भी तीन होगी सो वी कैन डू वन थिंग टू बाई थ्री बाई देन थ्री क्यूब प्लस फाइव बाय सिक्स थ्री जो एटीन कर देते हैं फाइव बाई एटीन बाई एंड रेडियस इज थ्री स्क्वायर इन टू हाइट ऑफ द कोन इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर सो वी कैन टेक इट ट्वेल्व राइट अगर आप कॉमन लेना चाहते हो यू कैन टेक कॉमन विदाउट कॉमन ऑल्सो इट विल वर्क सो इट इज योर चॉइस सो आई एम नॉट टेकिंग कॉमन राइट नाउ आई एम कटिंग दिस थ्री विथ बिकॉज देर आर क्यूब सो इट विल बी टू नाउ थ्री टाइम्स टू इज नाइन नाइन टाइम टू इज एटीन सो दिस होल पार्ट विल बिकम एटीन पाए प्लस दिस यू कैन कट सिक्स टाइम्स थ्री इज एटीन सिक्स टाइम टू एंड देन थ्री टाइम्स वन एंड थ्री टाइम्स वन तो एक थ्री काट दिया सो दिस विल बिकम फाइव इंटू टू राइट सॉरी फाइव सिक्स फाइव थ्री इज अ फिफ्टीन टू जो थर्टी सो दिस विल बिकम थर्टी पाए सो ये टोटल एड करेंगे तो दिस विल बिकम फोर्टी एट पाए राइट अब उसने बोला है कि पाए की वैल्यू जो है दैट विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर सो यू कैन डू वन थिंग यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई फोर्टी एट इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर ओके देन यू कैन रिमूव दिस डेसिमल सो दिस विल 